Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the captivating enigmas of the heavens. Today we delve into a question that has intrigued many. Why do planes tend to avoid flying over the immense expanse of the Pacific Ocean? But before we uncover the fascinating reasons behind this phenomenon, let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable history and magnitude of the Pacific Ocean. Covering an area of approximately 63 million square miles, or 165 million square kilometers, the Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean on Earth. Its captivating history spans millions of years, and here's a brief overview of its notable highlights. Roughly 200 million years ago, during the fragmentation of the supercontinent Pangaea, the Pacific Ocean began to form, later witnessed awe-inspiring journeys of exploration by the Polynesians, and even even served as a significant theater of conflict during World War II. Despite spanning over 60 million square miles, making it the largest and deepest ocean on our planet, planes tend to avoid venturing across its vastness. But why is that the case? Let's uncover the reasons. The first captivating concept is known as the Great Circle Route. As the Earth is a sphere, the shortest distance between two points on its surface follows the curve of a great circle. Airlines meticulously optimize their flight paths to save both fuel and time, and one of the most efficient ways to achieve this is by following these great circle routes. When these routes are plotted on a map, you'll notice that they curve northward and southward, rather than extending straight across the Pacific. By skillfully utilizing the curvature of the Earth, airlines reduce the overall distance traveled and minimize flight time. It's all about maximizing efficiency. Now let's talk about safety. The Pacific Ocean is vast and remote, with only a few scattered landmasses throughout its expanses. In the unlikely event of an emergency, pilots require nearby diversion airports to safely land the aircraft. Due to the Pacific Ocean having fewer islands and airports compared to other regions, it poses a challenge for aircraft operations. Airlines prefer flight paths that have accessible divergent airports along the way, ensuring the safety of passengers and crew. After all, having contingency plans for unforeseen circumstances is crucial. Were you aware that the Pacific Ocean hosts some of the busiest air routes worldwide? Yes, it's true. The airspace above the Pacific sees a significant volume of traffic between North America and Asia. To accommodate this substantial air traffic, air navigation services and infrastructure along the Pacific Rim are highly developed. Airlines prefer established routes equipped with reliable navigation aids, robust air traffic control system, and maintenance facilities. This ensures smoother operations, efficient communication, and reduces the risk of congestion or other complications. The winds of the Pacific also play a crucial role in shaping flight paths. Jet streams, which are fast-flowing air currents in the atmosphere, have a substantial impact on flight durations and fuel consumption. By skillfully harnessing these winds, airlines can benefit from tailwinds that accelerate their flights and save fuel. However, jet streams are not consistently present throughout the year or in every location. They tend to shift, and airlines adapt their routes accordingly to take advantage of the most favorable winds. As a result, flight paths may be adjusted to avoid headwinds or crosswinds, providing a smoother and more efficient journey. In conclusion, from strategically utilizing the Great Circle Route to considerations of safety, emergency options, and economics, the aviation industry diligently plans flight routes to ensure your comfort and security. So the next time you gaze at the vastness of the Pacific Ocean, remember the mysteries that lie beneath and the intricate planning that keeps our flights on safe and efficient paths. Until our next encounter, soar high and continue exploring the skies.